So we're back. Okay. Okay. <laughs> um, so, uh, do, so my, uh, you would ask me what my favorite recipe that I have done thus far is. Yes. Um, I, let's see, what did I like? The pad thai was really, really tasty. Mm. Uh, some of the, I think some of the like international food that I've made, um, has been probably my favorite. Um, oh, actually I know. <laughs> Uh, Robin's Bulgogi. So the, um, I had Robin Ha, who is the author of Cook Korean on my show. Oh, um, I see. Yeah. I got the advertisement for that <laughs> or the, oh, the little yes. notification about that. Mm -hmm. Totally, totally. So I made her Bulgogi, uh, which is made with kiwi. And it is like, honestly, one of the best things I've ever put my, like, tasted. It's so good. Mm -hmm. It's so, so delicious. Um, mm -hmm. It's like just this very, like, addictive mix of like ginger and sort of that unexpected kiwi and not but you can't tell it just tastes like mm -hmm. i don't know gives you a little um it's got delicious. some panache <laughs> exactly exactly um that probably is that's probably my favorite the korma also came out really well mm -hmm. um, but yeah i'm actually thinking about putting together um i want to make like recipe cards because i feel like i have a pretty good range of different recipes that i've had on the show so yeah mm -hmm. um some kind of like branded recipe cards i think would be fun um mm -hmm. but anyway yeah so um so we left off when we left off i'm going to drain this but when we left off you were talking about um what you do with the book after yes Settled. That's right. Okay. So once you um, are ready to dry your book out properly, because like I said, you know, it takes forever, um, you remove it from uh, the freezer. And actually the freezer, depending on how long you left it in there and how wet the book was, the freezer might dry it out a little bit. So it's helping you, um, helping you out. Um, you, how can I do this with, um, <laughs> let's see. Um, okay, so there's multiple different ways and it depends on the type of book that you have. Um, so like if you have a hard, uh, hard cover like this one right here, you can actually, um, and I think I have, let's go to demonstrate with, I thought I did. Okay, let me go get a book to demonstrate with. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, okay, this will probably sound really like almost overly simple, but it, it's true. So with a, um, with a hard, back uh, book, you can actually stand it up depending on how uh, fragile it is. And you can actually just gently let the pages, you know, air dry. And then again, just set it and forget it because uh, with all objects, they want to dry naturally. So don't put a hair dryer to it. Don't put it in the oven. I even had some per person ask me once if they could put it in the microwave. No. <laughs> Um, a well ventilated room is all you need, you know, like gentle air current, you know, like a ceiling fan or even just near an open window. Totally fine. <laughs> yeah. What would happen if you put it in a microwave? Would it catch you know, I honestly don't know, but it makes, it kind of gives me chills thinking about <laughs> it. <laughs> oh, about just from a perspective of like, this is your art of your, your. Yeah. It, it would, yeah. Like that, that's just completely just does not compute in my preservation brain. Um, I just feel like the, your book would just catch on fire, I feel. <laughs> yeah, I can see that happening pretty easily. Um, so the other thing you can do, if you're not comfortable standing them up like this, or like for a soft cover book, you can just do the interleaving and uh, slow uh, absorption method where you take your fabulous paper towels, which I have started seeing pop up in stores. So again, yes. again, so you can take these. And then again, you know, and you wanna make sure that you get um, paper towels that don't have any um, uh, ink on them. Like I know you can get like decorative paper towels. <laughs> um, ooh, how is it? 
It was really good. Yay. Is it dipped in the sauce? Is the sauce mm-hmm. ready too? Mm. Yeah, I um first though. <gasps> yeah. So mm-hmm. I feel like it might have gone. Mm-hmm. Actually, you know what? I'm still gonna do that. Um I think I'm going to add just a touch of, because I probably should have added a little bit of the cooking syrup, but I'm going to add just a touch of corn syrup so that it's a little bit, sticks a little bit better. Mm, mm-hmm. Thickens it up a little bit. Exactly. Um, mm-hmm. You know, um, it's funny, like they're, they're quite large gnocchi. They kind of, uh, they kind of look like scallops. <laughs> uh, they're not quite bit that big, but, well, maybe okay. little tiny scallops, yeah. Mm-hmm. But yeah, so they, they're, they're good. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. So, but anyway, yeah. So you can take your um, uh, hmm? dandy dandy paper towel. Dandy dandy paper towel, and you can just you know gently interleave it you know throughout the book. You don't want to put you know one paper towel per every page. You want to just very gently insert maybe depending on how thick the book is, you know, a dozen or so sheets, because even though these um, paper towels are going to soak the moisture out, you don't want to shove too many in there or else the spine is going to, um, there's going to be too much pressure on the spine and then you're going to break the spine and that's not what we're trying to do. So you can just, um, so once you've interleaved your uh, paper towels, um, you can again, let them be, let them slowly draw the moisture out and then come back and recycle, you know, see if you can open up to a different section of the book, put a fresh paper towel in there, set it, walk away, come back. So again, like, like I was saying, it's a, it's a very methodical process, also requires a lot of patience and oversight. (laughs) So like, I want to give you, like, you know, I want to, I want people to feel comfortable using these techniques, and I really feel like people should try them, but I just want to make sure that they understand that it is a commitment. (laughs) So, you know, only do this with the books that, you know, like I said, are the precious, irreplaceable ones. Yeah, yeah, totally. Um, yeah. Uh, and then just to make sure that I, um, I, I make, uh, or I, I, uh, I don't leave people hanging because I know I'm leaving so many people hanging about the cheesecloth. Yes. Uh, so cheesecloth is great for, see, and just to prove that I do have cheesecloth in here. See, ready? Oh, oh, yep. Ta-da, cheesecloth. <laughs> this is great for historic textiles. Um, your, you know, your hand-me-down rugs, your wedding dresses, your christening gowns, um, you know, I'm trying, your quilts. Um, this is great for when you're drying out textiles to put cheesecloth on top of the surface of the textile first, because that way it will lay down and create a protective barrier um, between your uh, fragile textile and your absorbent material so that you're not actually um, like roughing up your textile more than you should be. So cheesecloth is great. <laughs> yeah, I'm actually a big fan. I've just started using it and it's, it's pretty fun actually. I'm, I'm a fan. Mm-hmm. And you can actually, you can wash it and reuse it. So it's also quite, I feel like it's quite sustainable too. Oh, that's um, good to know. I think, although more green, uh, uh, environmental friends can, are more free to correct me. <laughs> mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, I can keep going on, but I also want to be wary of how long. <laughs> no, I mean, you know, it's, it's up to you. Um, what, what else, do you have other, other fun things you want to show? Uh, what else do I have here? Um, <laughs> Oh, well, I mean, it's, again. oh, pipe insulation. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is like Who a. excited about oh, pipe insulation? You know? <laughs> Which is honestly one of our big uh, jokes. That, oh. Like, w- yeah, exactly. Because, like, none of us, when we got into this field, thought that we would ever use pipe insulation. And now it's, like, our favorite thing. <laughs> and, like. Everybody is always like, what do you have pipe insulation for? <laughs> I really, every time you say pipe insulation, I'm thinking of the dirty euphemism with that. <laughs> it's a 
kid friendly show. <laughs> oh, it's no, it's not. not. Oh, okay. No, then yeah. <laughs> then should I be like doing things with this pipe insulation? <laughs> <laughs> <No. up> <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh lord <laughs> but yes serious heritage <laughs> face <Yes>. on <laughs> pipe insulation again helps with your textiles yes <laughs> <laughs> because um when you're drying textiles they get very heavy even if you're able to get you know a lot of water out of them they're still going <laughs> to maintain a lot of uh, moisture and they get very heavy so when you put them over your conventional um towel rack or um clothesline there's actually an increased risk that your textile will rip because of the just extra gravity and stuff What's great is that you can buy pipe insulation and put it over your clothesline, your shower rod, your, and actually I've even seen this done on a chain link fence, that chain link fence, and then you can carefully drape the um, textile over and, you know, you can actually create multiple um, uh, uh, rods for this <laughs> to uh, go over, which again distributes the weight of the textile and it can dry more evenly and you are reducing your risk of tearing it. So that's why we love pipe insulation because it's available, you know, everybody knows where this stuff is. It's cheap, um, mold doesn't grow on it, um, and it's just nice and squishy. <laughs> Um, much like the gnocchi that you're eating, I'm sure. <laughs> totally, totally. It's pretty good. So, yeah, I'm liking the uh, the lemony sage sauce or the lemony butter sauce. Mm -hmm. So make me think, what do I want for dinner tonight? Hmm. <laughs> Should work on that. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Anyway, mm -hmm. well, this has been really interesting and very, okay. very exciting. <laughs> um. So I will let you go. Maybe okay. have you on or have you on a happy hour or something sometime soon. Because it's oh, always love that. you. Um, and yeah, thank you so much for coming on the show. No, thank you so much for having me. Again, I was quite honored that you asked. <laughs> of course, you do. It's very interesting stuff. So cool. All no, right. Thank you very much. Mwah. I'll talk to you soon. Have All a right. good rest of your day. Enjoy you your dinner, too. whatever it is. All right. I know, yes, I will now go off and uh, cook something. So, and well done with your multitasking. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> All right, bye. Bye, friend. Mm -hmm.